showing you how to install a notification mod on 3.1.3 devices. As you know, the beta version of iOS 5 was released for those of you lucky enough to have an Apple developer's account. And one of the features in iOS 5 is Notification Center. Uh, those of you who follow up on the White Door forum know that Darlow is no longer developing for WhiteDoor.com, so we don't have anyone to port Notification Center to 3.1.3. Lucky for you, a mod for the popular app Lock Info was created, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install it in case you thought that the instructions provided in the file that you download were a little bit difficult to follow. So I'm going to switch over to my device and show you exactly what you're Okay, going so to here's get. what your lock screen is going to look like. It offers calendar, SMS, missed calls, voicemail, notifications, um, it also offers mail and um, favorites too. Those are other toggles you can assign in the settings app, but I only have a few assigned right now so it doesn't take up a lot of space. You also won't get that custom slider. That's a theme for uh, Brian's winter sled that I downloaded. It's pretty cool. You should check it out. Anyway, so on the lock screen and anywhere else, this is what you'll get. This is where the big bucks are. It looks exactly like iOS 5 notification center slide down on the um, the top bar and then slide down again in order to make it go away um, I haven't figured out how to get the weather on the top the top bar right there but when I do figure it out I'll post an update video and show you all how to do it as well so um, now let's get to all the right. fun stuff well, actually installing once it. you download this file from the link in the description, the download link is right here, you're going to be met with this RAR file. A RAR archi archive needs to be extracted. Just right click on your screen, click extract to blah 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 blah, and then open the file. There are four files in the main file. You only need these three. You can read the readme text, but that's the whole reason you're watching this video. So. You're going to need to SSH these files onto your device, put them in the directory var slash mobile. And then I'm going to go over to my device because for some reason I cannot get iPhone Explorer to stop crashing after about five seconds of opening it. So I'm going to be navigating these files using iFile. However, if you'd like to look up another tutorial using iPhone Explorer or SSH, that's up to you. But all you need to do for this tutorial is SSH or put these files, whatever you're using, these three files into var slash mobile. Alright, so now we're going to get to the fun part, actually installing the theme. Um, the first thing you're going to need, you are going to need Winterboard installed. Winterboard conflicts, obviously, with Winterboard Faker and some parts of winter sled so if you are using that you may have to rethink using this theme um, you're also going to need to have a package called lock info installed the best way to get this is to um, install the insanely i repo repo.insanelyi.com forward slash and take a look at their packages Find lock info. Just passed it. There it is lock info. You're going to need lock info installed. Now, when you install lock info, you're going to need to make sure that you have Wi Fi so it can validate your license. Go into settings. Lock info would be right there. You need to have Wi Fi when you do this, or else it's not going to work. It'll say checking license, it'll go away, and then you'll have access to it. Alright, so now for the next part, iFile. If you did what I previously said, which was SSH, the file you downloaded into var slash mobile, it should be on your device in var slash mobile. Right here. So, now what you're going to need to do is press edit, press 
these two, the top two, iOS Info Shade and iOS Lock Screen, and then press the arrow and press Copy Link. Then you can press Done. Exit out of that. Now you're going to go all the way back to your root directory, Library, Lock Info, Themes. And then I already have them right here, but what you're going to do is press Edit, press the little arrow again, and then press Paste. But I already have them, so I don't need to do it again. And then go back to VAR, oops, VAR Mobile. And then lock info iOS 5.theme. This one is for Winterboard, which I just said you need installed. So I'll click it, press the arrow, copy link. And then go back to your root directory again. Go to library, themes, and then paste it. There's mine. All you have to do is press edit, press the arrow thing, and then press paste. And then it will be right there. So now you're done with iFile as of right now. The next thing you would have to do is go into Winterboard, press lockinfo.ios, and then exit Winterboard, and your device will respring. I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again. Then go into Settings, go into Lock Info, and go to Appearance. Now select your font size and make sure it says small. Your header size needs to be set to extra large. Um, settings, lock info, info shade, and then appearance. Background needs to be all the way to the right. And section cells needs to be all the way to the left. Then go into lock screen appearance and press section headers all the way to the right and background all the way to the left okay so now we're ready to apply the theme go to lock screen select theme iOS 5 lock screen then go to info shade select theme iOS 5 Info Shade. And then, if that doesn't work for your lock screen, but it does work for the drop down menu everywhere else, you can go to Appearance, Select Default Theme, and press iOS 5 Lock Screen. Alright, that's just about it. Now, it should look like this on the home screen, and like this on your lock screen. You can customize it via the Settings app. You can add more widgets, delete widgets, it's all up to you, customize it to your liking, and um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.